After a short and troubled sleep, Rosy Finger Dawn slaps us awake again. Jessica, we've had an Icelandic blast. Yes, we have. I think it's been relatively comprehensive, but we have not as yet drunk in any folklore or culture. Well, we could go and visit the Hand Knitting Association of Iceland and make an authentic Lubapesa jumper. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit route one. We could, if we were going to go off-piste culturally, yeah. Yeah. go to Bad Taste Records, yeah. which is the home of the Smekalesa uh, record label, yes. which is yeah. where. Yeah. Um, do you think they will offer? They won't. Yeah, I, th <laughs> I think they're slightly mocking at the unnecessary increase in volume when you go into Iceland. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, they've just, they've just walked out in absolute fury <laughs> at the desecration of their mother tongue. But um, and this record shop, yeah. home of the Smikalesa yes. record label, yeah. um, which, who discovered sugar cubes yes. and therefore Bjork sure. and also Sigil Ross. Of so course. that's as culture of a, of a tasty kind. I Are don't want to do those things. Okay. Do you yeah. know what I want to do? What do you want to do, Rich? I want to go to elf school. Welcome to the elf school. 54% of Icelanders believe in elves and 90% are open to the idea. To my disappointment, this educational establishment did not teach Will Ferrell his craft, but it does teach visitors to the island about these made-up creatures. Our teacher, Magnus, is one of Iceland's foremost experts on these non-beings. I've met nearly 900 Icelanders that have seen elves. The smallest one is 5 or 8 centimetres, which is flower elves. The biggest one is about 70 or 80 centimetres tall, which is house elves. Within the elf community, is there um, a lot of discord? Do they have a criminal justice system, health care? Yes, they seem to have, because there are elf doctors. For the next 30 minutes, Magnus regales us with fantastical facts on elves in Iceland. But now it's time for Jess and I to go head to head in the final exam to see who will take home that all-important elf diploma certificate. And if there's one thing I must return to the airport with, it's this Pyrrhic victory. What was the name of the elf king in the North Iceland? Thing? King Pekudusu. King Thoratlu the second one. That was okay. quite close, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What is the size of an elf? Um, well, flowers Depending. are six the flowers to eight five centimetres. Five to six centimetres. centimetres. The nature there's, ones are ten centimetres. And then there's also house elves. House elves, who are 70 to 80, 80 centimetres. centimetres. Yes, you have obviously done your homework in the school. I feel you're slightly just uh, riding my jet stream there, Jessica. Where are most believe in elves in the Western countries outside Iceland? Canada, America. Scotland. Uh, Scotland. I Island. Yes. Bam, as Kanye would say. Bam. And where in the world is normally elves has a similar belief as in Iceland? Aborigines. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the school. I'm sorry it turned nasty there, Jessica. I just really wanted to win. <laughs> I hope you learned something. I did not. Mixed feelings about that. Where do you stand on elves now? No, I'm not standing on any elves right. because yeah. they don't exist. That's fighting talk and I'm pleased you didn't raise that with Magnus in there because he was a big guy.